my name is Jill Berry Bowen, CEO of Northwestern Medical Center and your host of the NMC Health Beat Show, dedicated to discussing hot healthcare topics. Today on our show, I'm joined by Tyson Moulton. He's the Director of Facilities Plan and Property, and we're going to be talking about some projects, especially one that where we're relocating a road um, on the campus. So we've got some projects, and I know Tyson's been with us before, but there's a lot going on now, Absolutely. which we're excited to talk about. So the, the Crest Road. Yes. Um, so let's talk about the Crest Road and moving the Crest Road and what it all entails. And Sure, sure. So basically what we're doing is we're going to take Crest Road, which is our main access drive onto campus currently, and move it 90 feet to the east. Um, and what this accomplishes, uh, you know, that's the biggest visual impact, but there's a lot of other pieces that go along with it. We're also going to be moving all of the utilities, um, all of the underground utilities, as well as taking our overhead utilities, which is the things coming in on the pole, the power, the, um, uh, the, some of the communications, and moving that underground as well. Um, and we're also building additional parking. I know that parking has been oh, yeah. a, a big issue, at, especially at the front of campus where we, where we have a lot of mm -hmm. people coming in and out. Um, and it's been really hard on busy days for people to find parking at the front yes. of campus. So we're actually gonna be increasing parking at the front of campus. Um, and those are really the, the, the major components of the project. Um, but the biggest visual one is obviously moving that road to the to the east, a little closer to doctor's office commons. I was going to say, when the east, so if someone comes in um, towards, like if they're coming up Fairfield Street, right. the road's going to be um, further uh, further towards um, the next intersection, yes, right? Yes, so, that's correct. So it's going to be moved closer to doctor's office commons that's as correct. you come into yes. the to that crest road. Right. Well, I will tell you that one of the um, top, and you probably see these too, the patient satisfaction feedbacks, mm -hmm. Not, not a top one, but it's not uncommon right. to have someone say, okay, we have more parking. Parking's getting tight. And if you don't get there early in the morning, right. you're really kind of sunk on getting anything closed right. unless you're in the little 30 minute parking. Yeah, as, as, the, as the hospital has grown, um, the, the, the physical site space has not <laughs> grown any. So we've, we're really kind of bumping up against what, is, what, what we practically need for our employees as well as our, our visitors and patients mm -hmm. uh, to have adequate parking. Super. So when you actually, um, when this project is done, um, when you turn on to Crest Road, what will you actually see when you think about parking and uh, lighting or what, what, right. what will be different for folks? So as you, yeah, as you come onto campus on, um, on the, the west side, so the side closer to the city, um, there will be, there's three rows of parking currently and we will extend those so okay. that we'll, we can actually put more parking there. Excellent. Also, uh, what we'll be doing is on the east side, so, so closer, to, so over on the town side, mm -hmm. um, we will be adding a parking lot in the, the lawn area that is, that's currently um, between Doctor's Office Commons and Fairfield Street. So there'll be additional parking okay. there as well. I think okay. we're going to, our net increase of parking is going to be around 160 additional spaces. Oh, great. That's, yeah. that's super. And um, also um, the education center where folks have to kind of, that's right. kind of walk, uh, really sort of in the road right now. Absolutely. Yeah. The, uh, one of the biggest issues that we've had, or, or one of the issues that we've had with parking is our conference center, which is a really popular place for outside uh, people right. to come into the hospital and have have meetings and uh, but there's no parking dedicated to it so they either end up um, fighting for visitor parking which on busy days is full or end up parking in doctor's office commons or other places so we're actually going to be providing dedicated parking for the conference center which will be huge yeah so this is um, creating a lot of change and on the campus and how will traffic flow while we're doing this? Because I know we've gotten it underway, but what can we expect? Because we've got to get to the emergency department and the back of the campus is a right. primary care and physical therapy and urgent care and you've got the doctor's office comments. Are you doing some rerouting or how is this going to play out? Yeah, so what we, first of all, we don't expect any disruption on Fairfield Street. Okay. Um, but there will, be, there will be some disruption on campus, on, on Crest Road. Uh, we do have two access points off of Fairfield Street onto our campus, mm -hmm. and one of those is not being impacted. So, okay. so if we ever do have a, um, uh, an issue where we have to close down uh, Crest Road, we can divert traffic there. Okay. Um, 
but we're really trying to do this project with the minimal amount of traffic disruptions. Um, so there will be some, uh, some shutdowns for some of our utility work, um, but we're actually able to build the new Crest Road while we still, still have traffic on our existing Crest Road. Okay. So at some point we can, we can really just switch those. Now there are obviously gonna be disruptions. So we, um, we've, we've gone through a lot of coordination with our contractor to, to really coordinate um, signage, uh, detour signage and flagging, um, and we'll be communicating with all of, the, all, of, uh, all of the staff in the hospital as well as neighbors um, and the, the doctors in doctor's office common so that mm -hmm. we have at least a week's notice um, hopefully at least a week to notice on any of those of those closures that we have. Great, great. So communication is going to be really key. Absolutely. I mean, I think that everyone just wants to for, wants to know <laughs> what's going on and also right. wants to know how it's going to impact them. But we're going to try to make it as as easy as possible for everybody. Great. All right, so what are you doing uh, about these trees? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, it's, I love my trees. <laughs> yeah, it's always a sensitive subject, and I always, you know, it's the worst part of the project when you have to, you have to make room by cutting down some trees. So uh, first of all, on that, so the front lawn is kind of the most impactful place where we're, where we're cutting down some trees. And um, on that front lawn, we had two black walnut trees, uh -huh. which, which are just, were just beautiful trees. Yes. And it was really... It was really a shame to have to cut them down, but what we've done is we've actually, um, we, we cut them down and we, we sent them to a mill to get milled so that we can Excellent. actually use them for casework or something in the hospital. So they will oh, go to, to another use, they won't just be firewood. Um, in addition to that, we have a comprehensive uh, landscaping plan where we'll be replacing all of the trees and then some. Um, and, and really, I think it's gonna, it's gonna, it's going to really um, elevate the the visual appearance of our campus um, and and create some order. the The trade off here is that we won't have those big mature trees. Yeah. Um, so we'll just you know we'll have to wait for that for for you sure. know ten years to get to get bigger trees. Yeah, yeah, they are beautiful and but it's much needed. You know, we need the parking and uh, absolutely. There's much more activity on that campus and. Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, how will this make it more safe? Um, one of the we got yeah. parking, and then we got safety of, yeah. of uh, traffic and pedestrians. Right. So, if you've ever come in on Crest Road, um, it's it's not um, it's not organized all that well. I think that there's I think there's five crosswalks in the first stretch of Crest oh Road. Oh gosh, I've never counted those. Yeah. But yeah, you're and, probably right. And we have the loading dock, which yes. which brings which brings trucks. They actually come on to Crest Road to make their maneuver back to back into the into the loading dock, um, and that's also where a lot of the folks from Doctor's Office Commons are coming over to the hospital. I know that I cross at the loading dock every morning when I'm walking into work, mm -hmm. um, and there's there's just a lot of potential for conflict. So what we're doing um, at the at the back of Crest Road, kind of where it hooks around towards Cobblestone, we're going to create that as an actual controlled T intersection with stop signs. So rather than cars coming around the corner mm -hmm. um, where we have two crosswalks right next to each other, right. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have a T intersection Excellent. with yeah. with crosswalks as you would expect in a T intersection. Good. Um, and then we're also going to have a dedicated crosswalk across from Doctor's Office Commons. Mm -hmm. So we're really just trying to create a little more order because um, mm -hmm. really how you how you um, how you promote pedestrian safety is by making things predictable. Yes. Right. So as people come onto campus, they understand where people are going to be crossing. And right now we don't have that. We just mm -hmm. have it's it's a little bit of a free for all. <laughs> it, so we, it it, it's it's a, it's one of the main issues we wanted to address in the project. That's great. That's great. So we've got the Crest Road and that's that's um, going forward now. So there's also a master facility plan. Yes. So what does that entail and about timing? In fact, actually, probably talking about the timing. When will the Crest Road be done? And then, then we're hoping um, yep. to get approval from the state to proceed with our master facility plans. So maybe right. talk about that timeline progression. Sure, sure. So we started Crest Road um, on April 17th. That was the first day we were in the ground. Um, and it's about a 14 week project. So that puts us into mid August for completion. Okay. Uh, so just a little bit over three months. Um, and we're, so we're, we don't see any issues with, with getting there. Great. That's great. And so 
the master facility plan, mm -hmm. um, what does that entail? So the master facility plan, um, it includes, so it's, it's broken into three phases. Uh, the first phase is, um, is expansion of our med surge ICU wing. Uh, and this is going from semi-private rooms, which we currently have, which are you know dual occupancy, mm -hmm. um, into private rooms, so that every patient would have their own room, um, you know, with a little family area, and and really creating a, a better, better healing space for for them. It, it, you know, there's a lot of benefits to doing that. So uh, it would be a, a about a 14,000 square foot addition onto the end of Med Surge ICU. Um, and that's on the that's on the north side of campus. And then there's also um, some some uh, site work associated with that because it's actually going to go into the path of of where the loop road goes now. Yes. Um, then phase two is um, a medical clinics, which is going to sit uh, basically where cardiology, pulmonology is right now, mm -hmm. and some of our handicap parking, which will get which will get moved elsewhere. Um, and that's that's a, a project to to bring OBGYN. Um, create space for cardi cardiology and pulmonology as mm -hmm. well as a space for medical specialty clinics um, such as you know neurology rheumatology things that we're not going to have in our community um, full-time but right. creating a space where we can have these we can provide these these specialties in our community uh, so that'll be phase two and then phase three is a is a new medical office building that will that will house primary care orthopedics and urgent care um, and that'll bring all of those things that are currently with the exception of orthopedics um, from in cobblestone and bring them to the front of our campus um, so our timing on those is we're we're hoping or we're we're working towards <laughs> I won't use the word hoping we're working towards um, a fall start for the med surge ICU mm -hmm. so we'd be in the ground pretty late in the season October late October early November um, and then, and then looking at a spring start for the other two, a spring okay. 16 start for the other two, okay. two projects. Uh, we still have a lot of hurdles to, to clear. Um, we're, we're starting our permitting process uh, on, these, on these projects. So we still have you know, all the requisite permits, uh, stormwater, um, VTRANS, uh, Act 250. Um, we're, you know, we're deep into our, our CON process, mm -hmm. um, but that is still outstanding. Um, and we're still in the, d the design process. So, right. so we still have a lot of work to do, but, but those are our goals. Wow, so there's gonna be a lot of activity on the campus. Absolutely. So how do we, we're in a residential area, so how do we be good neighbors uh, yeah. through all of this? Is some noise uh, attached to all of this? Yeah, absolutely, that's one of the unfortunate things is construction comes with noise um, and, and disruption, just having you know, more trucks in the neighborhood and, and you know, some dust and all of that. And I think that, um, you know, the, the, as we talked about before with Crestro, the, the first thing that we try to do is, is communicate. Um, you know, everybody wants to know what's happening in their backyard. So um, just effective communication with our neighbors. Um, sure. and, and in conjunction with uh, Jonathan Billings, our Vice President of Community Relations, mm -hmm. uh, we've, we've really started to, or continue to develop a, a, a good relationship with our neighbors and, a, a, um, and communicating any disruptions. Uh, so that's really where it starts. Um, and secondly is just taking any, any precautions that we can to reduce those impacts. Mm -hmm. So um, limiting, constru no limiting construction to normal business hours. Um, if we do have, um, if we do have uh, a, lot of, a lot of earthwork, making sure that we're wetting it so we don't get a lot of flying dust. Um, mm -hmm. So really just taking, taking those precautions so that we can limit impacts on, on neighbors. So what do you do in your spare time? <laughs> it's, it sounds like you're going to be pretty busy. Do you, do you have the team to do this? How, how do you put this all together? Yeah, we, we have, uh, it, it's, a, it's a lot of work. You know, we're, we're doing a lot of work in the next, in the next two years, um, which is really exciting. It's, it's really an exciting time to be at, at, at Northwestern Medical Center. Um, but we've also, we've brought on some help. We have, uh, we have a, a, an additional project manager, Brian Haas from uh, VIS Construction Consultants, who's helping us out with some of these projects. Um, so yeah, no, I can't do this alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that, uh, you know, you have all this stuff on a timeline and it's just amazing how you're able to coordinate all of this. So you've really um, been a joy to have on our team. I know you haven't been with us that long, but you've brought energy and expertise and so I want to thank you, uh, you know, on behalf of the community to have your expert skill um, leading 
these projects to, to get us to a better, better place. I always think about it as getting our facilities and our infrastructure to the level that our care is in providing exceptional care for our community. And this is an important piece, so yeah. thank you so much. Well, thank you, it's been my pleasure. Yeah, So and thanks for being here on this show because I know everybody's curious to know what's going on the, the hill on Fairfield Street. So Absolutely. thank you. So my name is Jill Bray Bowen, CEO of Northwestern Medical Center, and thank you for joining us for this exciting discussion around what's going on on the NMC campus. Thank you.